Today's video, I'm gonna give you one of the most important tips that I can really give you in terms of making your defense play better, specifically your zone defense, but this will also help in man coverage. Now, I am in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defensive playbook today. We're like taking a look at the nickel 245 odd defense. It's my personal favorite defense in the game. If you wanna get access to my entire 245 odd defensive ebook, uh, I will put a link to my Patreon down in the description. You can join the Patreon for just 10 bucks and it will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks. So I wanted to kind of give, like I said, one of the most important tips that I could possibly give you in terms of making your defense play better, and basically it will end up in more uh, defensive stops, okay? So uh, we're gonna be coming out here, and for two for five, we're gonna go auto flip off, we're gonna go on a baseline, and we're gonna turn our zone coverage on to match. It's pretty much all you need, and then we're gonna be in pinch too. Okay, I love pinch two. It's my favorite way to play the game right now. This uh, cover two, there's a lot of things we can do out of cover two this year. I think cover two is is really back. And, and as you can see here, we have a really good blitz um, out of the two, four, five odd, okay? Now, the biggest thing that I want to explain is cloud flats in general, whether it be really outside flat zones, whether it be soft squats, cloud flats, um, hard flats even, they need to be outside of the players because of the players they're trying to defend. For example, if I am trying to defend a corner route, okay, um, what you're going to see here is I'll say I'm trying to defend this corner route to the right side. You're going to notice that this zone literally doesn't get far enough outside and it definitely doesn't get far enough back to be able to defend a corner route, okay? Um, but if I'm outside already, and I have a blitz behind this, you're going to see that this might look a little bit better. So again, we'll do the same setup. And what you'll see is now, even though we're still getting, and, and now you see that corner actually guards this a lot better. Okay. And this is really, really important. So placement matters. Alignment matters on the defensive side of the ball. I think it's one of the most important things. It's actually one of the reasons why the nickel 3-3 Cub remains the best, probably the best all in all, all inclusive defense to this day. We have an ebook on that, the Patreon as well, because of its ability to get really good alignment. But as you can see right here, this defends this a lot better. Now, if I release this ball right here, okay, I can't throw that deep corner. The only thing I can throw is this flat, and then I'm going to rally and tackle that football. Okay. So, again, base alignment for your outside clouds are really good. And if you want to, the cool part about 245 odd is if you pinch your linebackers, this defender will come down on to the line of scrimmage without having to basically press him. And so you can send the pressure like this as well. Now, not only does alignment matter for your outside corners, especially defending any kind of wide side uh, concepts such as flood or, you know, really anything like that but it also matters for defending things like post routes over the middle of the field. So when you're in a compressed set, the best tip that I could give you for defending bunch, this applies to tight, is we're gonna take the safeties and we're gonna move them down. Now, uh, what I like to do if I'm defending and it's like this, I'm gonna move this safety outside so that he can kind of cheat over here to the solo wide receiver. And then I'm going to move this safety down so that he's over the top of the slot receiver so he can defend the streaks. And what you'll see now is we'll also have a really good ability to defend verticals, which is one of the best plays in the entire game. If I try to throw this crossing route, you see how these safeties, when you bring them down into the box, they're able to make a play on that. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like if I leave them backed off here and what you'll see now is I can throw this and I can catch it before he can he can react to the ball. So by bringing the safeties down, it's going to make a big difference. Now you might say, how how far uh, do you recommend bringing them down? I recommend bringing them down um, about nine to ten yards, so or about eight to ten yards off the ball. And then, like I said, what I really like to do with these uh, with these defenders is I like the wide side guy to be on the hash, and I like the short side guy to basically be. Um, essentially just slightly outside of the tackles. And this will also help them react to things such as um, if I were to try to set up a concept like this and try to hit this deep this deep uh, corner or streak, you see he's able to react to that. And he's able to engage with the fact that there's a vertical route uh, that is going to pull him, him vertically. Okay. Now, 
This changes, this principle still applies, but it is slightly different when you're defending a, um, a spread out formation. So let's say, let's say for example, you were defending something like a trips uh, style formation. Now what trips tight in is, is trips is basically spread on one side and compression on the other, right? On the, on the left side, it's spaced out and spread out. On the right side, it's just a tight end and a running back. So uh, what we're gonna do is basically everything is gonna be similar but now we have to account for the fact that they have a lot of a lot of uh, field and receiving threats to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this guy down, but we're also going to bring him outside. And then we're going to bring this guy and kind of cheat him to the trip side. What this is going to do is now these deep halves are going to play significantly better if they're running uh, a concept such as what I'm about to show you here. If it'll let me create it and what you'll see now is this deep half defender can actually get back and quasi make a play. Now right there, he didn't make a play, and that's because we kind of properly cleared him out with some other clear outs. But let's say, for example, they didn't do that. So let's say, um, and, and again, I also like to cloud flat the trips. Uh, and the reason I like to cloud flat a trips formation is so that it just delays that window where they can hit that whole shot over the top. But, you know, let's say they do something like this concept, and again, they're going to have to block. It's a pretty tight throw, you know, but you see here, try to throw that. You see the deep half is able to get out and he's able to play that route. And you might be saying, okay, so that's a, a trips, a bunch, a tight. Uh, and tight, you would bring both the safeties inside. Why? Because tight doesn't have outside receiving threats. So both safeties would come more inside uh, of the formation. And that's the same applies for bunch tight end. And I'll just show that real quick. So, because we do have tight in this playbook. So if I'm playing someone that's running, you know, more tight sets, then what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to keep those outside defenders outside. I think that is super important. But now we're just going to bring these guys down over the slot receivers and that will take away slot streaks. That'll take away a lot of stuff. Um, and then, as you can see, we also have, you know, one of the best blitzes in the entire game with this defense. It helps close the windows where zones gets gets beat, basically, is what we're trying to, to help here. OK. So that's how I would defend a tight. And then um, what do we want to look, what do we want the safety, uh, you know, concepts to look like against like a spaced out spread set? So uh, with a spread set, now what we're going to do is to the wide side, it's going to be like defending trips tight in. And I love vertical hooks against spread. Um, any kind of two by two spread, these vert hooks will be one of the best zones in the game. You really normally only need to send four or two, but I want to bring him, I want to cap and basically create a cap on the slot receiver so that the deep half can react well to any kind of seam streak, but he can also get outside and take the deep uh, the deep out route. Now on the short side of the field against a spread formation, really we're doing the same thing. We're just gonna manually bring this guy down like we would in a tight set because we, we don't necessarily, we're not really in danger of, of not being able to cover that wide side so or that short side. So you see, we're just bringing him, this guy down but with this defender over here, we are going to, instead of bringing him down, we're going to bring him down and out so that he can get over here. And then we're going to click onto our user. And now if they try to throw these, you know, these deep spades and deep bombs, these deep half defenders are going to really do a good job of taking that away. Again, I think that the cover to sink concept in general is really good against two by two spread because even if they, you know, put a flat, even if they put a flat route over there, uh, to take away the soft squat, you could even honestly press up against against this and be fine. But even if they do that, again, they're going to get absolutely screamed at here. That is also important. Um, but the other cool part about this is the fact that because they don't have a trips or a third receiver, the D path is going to jet to that sideline. So you'll see here, it, it, it's open at first, and then he's able to make a play on the ball. So the biggest thing that I could give you, and, and, I, and again, this is going to apply, I think, probably every Madden, at least on next gen, bring these safeties down to about basically nine, eight to ten yards off. And then based off of the hash mark and the space on the field, kind of de design the defense so that these safeties can play the most amount of field uh, in these deep halves. If you do these things, you're going to have a better defense and it's going to take that blitz to the to the next level it's a really good way to play defense this year out of a cover two i think deep halves are the best deep zone in the game right now 
And by properly structuring your defense around deep halves, it can make a big difference. Guys, if you're in any cover two blitz, this principle is going to apply. It does apply to man coverage as well. Let's say I was in a man to man version of this. Um, then you see how they're about 15 yards off the ball. We want them to be about seven or eight yards off the ball. So by bringing them down, um, it's going to significantly increase the likelihood that we're able to uh, make a really, really good play on the football. So love this defense. I think 245-odd is really the best defense right now. Um, and if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on it, just join the Patreon. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive ebooks in there. We've got a ton of updates to those ebooks as well. Uh, and, and members get access to everything. They get all the updates, they get all the ebooks, they get any new ebooks we release, everything for just $10. And I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. So sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.